Hi, I'm the Alchemist Astrologer, and this is your April forecast for Leo Sun, Rising, and Moon. So it looks like there is a dilemma trying to establish something. The ability to make an agreement or accept an offer or proposal or present that. You are represented by the Magician and the Four of Coins. So for some of you, uh, there could be somebody influencing you who has a Gemini or Capricorn. But the Magician, you know, may be a strong male figure in your life. Could be a son, a boyfriend, your husband, your lover. Uh, it could be your own ability. In fact, it is your own ability to manifest. And this is a period where you have a lot of mojo. Uh, you are very attractive to the opposite sex. And this is your ability, if you're part of a union, to create magic, to bring all of the right elements together and create something that is very thrilling, exhilarating, exciting. There are opportunities that are abounding. Some of you, that may even come in the form of a business opportunity or something related to property. Uh, but this is your ability to manifest, having everything you need at your fingertips and people recognizing your power, your potential. Now, the Four of Coins says that either you are um, feeling perhaps inhibited Maybe your partner's making you feel that way. You feel restricted in some way. There's the feeling of not wanting to rock the boat. You want to maintain that status quo. So you may be overly cautious about something. Uh, but this may be the time to step out there and explore your ability to create whatever it is that you're looking for. Because the Four of Coins says that you may be ultra-conservative. There could also be a focus on resources. And, you know, maybe you're trying to hold on to something or you're being overly protective. You're protecting your heart, your assets. And so, you know, this ability to maintain the status quo or to explore some kind of opportunity is going to be important. There's something that is going to be revealed and perhaps it's an area where you have felt trapped. You may be revealing that to somebody, or they may be telling you that, that you, know, you feel trapped as if you can't express yourself. Maybe you're bottling up your feelings or the best side of yourself. Something in your life feels restrictive. Maybe it has to do with a male figure, or it could have to do with your resources or your capabilities, but somehow you feel like you're not able to show your best side of yourself, that something is uh, trapped somehow. Maybe you feel like you need greater freedom. Maybe you need more freedom from your partner, or your partner feels that way. But you are looking behind the curtain to figure out you know, where you are being trapped and why perhaps your partner's feeling that way. Now, your partner is represented by the Knight of Cups. And this could also be the influence that they're having on you. So the Knight of Cups is uh, water energy. This is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Or it could just be the traits connected to the Knight. This is about... Uh, feeling very emotional, very sensitive. So your partner may be very sensitive and perhaps you're doing some communication. It could be an offer that's extended. Maybe you're falling in love or your partner is falling in love with you. There's something on offer, a social invitation, uh, offering their feelings. And the Knight of Cups has the ability to woo, to seduce. And so somebody may be trying to tempt you or seduce you somehow. And perhaps this was unexpected. Uh, this came on suddenly. Whatever this is, there are some circumstances that require you to act and move. You may decide that you need to push something along more quickly or to get it started. Or it could be that you feel overwhelmed, that something has caught you you know, come over you. Maybe your partner is overwhelming you. There could also be issues connected to some kind of travel agreement or some kind of communication agreement, some proposal or offer that's on the table. 
but it's likely that either you or your partner are not being completely honest with one another. Now that may be actual deception, or it could be that you're just playing your cards close to your chest or your partner is. Everything is just simply not out in the open, and it could be because either of you are feeling your way. Uh, this night, though, will endow you with the ability to have some psychological insight. If there's somebody that you're after, somebody that you're attracted to, this is going to cue you in on their motivation, how to figure them out, how to make that happen, or somebody may be doing that to you. This is about outwitting the opponent, beating out the rival for your lover if there is one. So something is on offer where somebody's emotionally sensitive. Now negatively, the Knight of Cups is very moody. Uh, he never accepts responsibility for his own behavior. It could be that somebody is, you know, self-indulgent. They could be lazy. They could be um, unrealistic. Perhaps they are um, indulgent with alcohol or drugs or sex. Whatever it is, they don't have full mastery over their emotions. In the positive, again, this is somebody who is emotionally sensitive. They care about how you feel. Uh, they're very charming. So this could be a very charming lover or some kind of social invitation on the table. And it may tie to, you know, getting some recognition. But there's also some scorecard keeping, some tit-for-tat behaviors, maybe some self-righteousness, some refusal to compromise. Somebody may be measuring up uh, outside external appearances, what somebody looks like, and, and they're using that as a scorecard. For some of you, this is about a travel ticket. Uh, somebody's, you know, making an offer to buy or extend an invitation to travel. But for others of you, this is simply, you know, that nitpicking, that criticism, perhaps about what somebody looks like. There's too much focus on the outside rather than what's inside. Now, the romance is characterized by this Two of Swords and the Queen of Cups. So we have more water energy. There's some kind of dilemma that may be tied to maternal issues or being overly influenced. There's a decision to be made. Perhaps you're making a decision that ties to this Queen of Cups. She could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising. So this is a queen who is very nurturing, very loving, very sensitive very comforting, and those could be issues, some dilemma that ties to nurturance, comfort, support. And this is a queen who has a penchant for either sowing seeds of uh, harmony or creating some kind of disharmony. Now, negatively, the dilemma could be that she's manipulative emotionally. She plays the victim card, or she's an enabler, or she's... Uh, a passive aggressive or she's not in control of her emotions but positively this is about a loving influence in your relationship there's some kind of decision that needs to be made where perhaps there's some uncertainty about that it could be a lack of information a refusal to see something not listening to your intuition, which the Queen of Cups, of course, is highly intuitive. So perhaps there's a dilemma where you really need to pay attention to your intuition. It could be that you're in conflict with her. Maybe you're turning your back on a conflict. You're at odds with her. Or you're conflicted about how you feel about her. Or perhaps there is a conflict where you, you're playing a role either as mediator or instigator in connection to her. It it may tie to greater freedom. You may be seeking greater freedom or she may be seeking that freedom, but there's a decision to be made where somebody perhaps wants to break out of the routine and be free, especially, again, because they felt stifled and trapped in a situation where they couldn't be their best self. They couldn't express the way they want to. There's something that they want to do and they need the freedom to do that. So there's some kind of dilemma where self-love is involved. Either you need to practice greater self-love or this queen does. And so the self-love is about 
having that important dialogue with self. Where have you not been taking care of yourself as far as health or emotionally? And it may mean that you need to have uh, get in touch with you, your own inner beauty, before you can start a rewarding relationship with someone else. Uh, this is about self-acceptance, your flaws and all. So if there's been a focus on what you look like, how others perceive you, this is saying you need to get real, you know, let all of that go. What really matters most is your sense of well-being, your confidence, your belief in self. And when that is in order, obviously your relationship will flow. The problem seems to be this king of coins trying to establish something that would give you either financial or emotional security or both, something of permanence. You're looking for some kind of stability. And it may tie to, uh, again, resources, real estate, uh, banking, investments, that may be weighing in on your relationship somehow. You want to establish something. And this is a king who can be miserly, selfish, greedy. Ultimately, he resents spending money on you. Or you may present something to him and he's going to look at that ledger to see is it worthy and he's going to decide whether it has merit. And if he doesn't feel that it does, he's not in. He's not going to buy in. Uh, so there could be an overly concern with money. Maybe somebody has mismanaged money. Maybe they're not sharing. Uh, you know, maybe there's been some reckless spending or some overindulgence or again, just some selfishness. And this is about an opportunity related to that. Could be an opportunity related to business or real estate, getting some assistance, some kind of help, or somebody not delivering what they've promised. Uh, you know, this may be a focus on the material, the physical side of a relationship, especially with these cards that point to the external. This is about the trappings of wealth, the social status, the prestige, what do I look like? People coming together in order to climb up the ladder or to look good, we look attractive as a couple, uh, what's the status you know, of our connection? So you're having to be careful about being involved in relationships where the motivation may be less than noble. Again, this is about getting back to bare roots, accepting yourself for who you are under any circumstances. And it may be tied to something where you perceived it to be lucky or fortunate. And maybe it was, you know, this card sort of has the implication of, you know, when pigs fly. So something you didn't expect to happen, something that you considered lucky or fortunate. Maybe you're trying to get some kind of assistance or you think somebody's going to help you. Or again, you've, you're involved with somebody where the motivation is centered around money or looks. And the problem is perspective. Now, maybe you're not really taking into consideration how you may be blessed. Or maybe you're looking at something through rose-colored glasses. You're waiting for some, your luck to come, and it's simply not going to show up. What's driving this is this Ten of Swords, this sense of betrayal, some kind of ending. Now, I know many people hate this card, but I don't have a problem with this card. I actually think this card shows up many times when it's the end of a negative situation that needed to close out. And this is also, you know, a mindset. Now, some of you may be dealing with some form of illness, some kind of betrayal where people, where you feel stabbed in the back, especially if somebody didn't deliver on their promises or didn't come through, uh, or you realize what the real motivation was behind their connection. This may be a sense of betrayal, somebody, you know, who did you wrong, but more than likely this is you sinking into the depths of pessimism, forgetting what your real power is, and, you know, giving up on yourself, feeling like you're a victim, feeling powerless. And what this card says is that the clouds are clearing. It could be that the worst is over. And what you need to do is get up, dust yourself off, regardless of what you've been through. Again, practice some of that self-love and decide that, you know, 
you have the power to reinvent yourself. You have to deal with whatever your duties, your responsibilities. It's time to, you may feel pinned to a situation, feel, feeling as if you're trapped, but you're going to have to get up and go at it again. And it may have to do with, you know, some kind of wisdom or awareness where perhaps you were left out in the cold or an understanding of why maybe you're not, why you're at odds with somebody. Some of you, maybe there's some frigidity in your relationship, some coldness. Maybe this is a relationship that is characterized by cold wars where people don't speak to each other or some aloofness, uh, feeling left out. Uh, it could be issues with sexuality, impotence, frigidity. So you are tapping into your intuition about you know, some form of betrayal, whether it's actually so or whether you're just taking on a victim mentality and whether it's time to pick up the pieces and get going again. Now, your advice card is, I'm no garden variety. I can wait for someone who appreciates my value. And again, this is about loving yourself, recognizing your own beauty. You don't have to settle for less. You are more powerful than you think. The outcome is the Sun and Nine of Wands, which this is a great outcome to have. The Sun is your card. And the Sun says that regardless of what's going on, there's something for you to look forward to. People are in your corner. Your partner may be supportive of you. This is about a, a romance or, again, this belief in self renewing your health, your vitality, your confidence, your optimism about the future. And you could be making some choices that pertain to your destiny and your long-range future. You're definitely going to be coming in contact with movers and shakers, perhaps people who are very attractive or influential or powerful. And this is about you claiming that as well. For some of you, again, uh, you know, this is your card. Now, this may tie to your creativity, a romance, a lover, a male figure. But there's also some struggle in here. Maybe you're struggling for success or you're struggling in a romance. You're also very determined. Maybe you're trying to protect yourself from whatever threat you perceive, some kind of attack on you personally, your reputation, your assets. You're struggling to stand, but guess what? you are still standing. And this is ultimately a victory card. There may be some things coming up that seem to wear on you emotionally, financially, physically. And you may not feel as if you have the strength to continue when in fact you do. This is, you know, again, victory after a struggle. Now you're going to go through some changes. Some things are going to happen that are uncomfortable but you're going to cross that finish line and you're closer to that finish line than you, than you think. Uh, again, strength is emphasized. Part of that is letting past conditioning go, releasing the past, old forms of behavior, things that don't serve you. This may include an ex or it's, you know, so that you can make way for a new relationship or make better changes in your relationship. So you're going to have to let go of something. And this is about closing out a situation, the end of something, uh, you know, it's time to wrap it up. Again, it may tie to children, romance, your health, your future, your destiny. Now you have two majors, the magician and the sun. And this says that your ability to get through a situation depends on your personal initiative. If you allow impatience or frustration to uh, guide you, you may end up doing the wrong thing or self-sabotaging. You may say the wrong thing, you may make the wrong decision, and ultimately you may undercut your success. Some of you, you may be dealing with people who are less than truthful. Maybe somebody's lying. Maybe they're an opportunist. They're conning you. They're an imposter. Uh, but this is about rising up. The sun is going to shine a light on whatever needs to be visible to you. Now, this queen of cups is very concerned with the knight of cups. So, 
this queen is being influenced or she's very concerned about some form of agreement, some offer, an invitation, her feelings, perhaps an attraction. And the king of pentacles is very concerned with this two of swords. Uh, a dilemma, something that needs to be solved, some uncertainty. And again, the way to move through a situation is to use your initiative and to maintain your sense of tact, diplomacy. That means not, you know, being mindful of just blurting some things out or rushing into some kind of situation that you're not prepared for, letting your frustration be the determining factor. If you are frustrated, which likely you might be because you are struggling, let that be a catalyst, a motivator for your success. So there are issues that center around cooperation, the group dynamic, getting together with others in whatever kind of setting, a conference, court, school, whatever it is, some kind of gathering where you're taking stock of a situation. Some of this may tie, uh, tie to property and making some kind of improvement, but that's the key making some kind of improvement by getting some input, some feedback, connecting with people who have expertise or knowledge that can help you gain or move forward. Again, there's some kind of dilemma uh, that, and you wanna bring the end to that situation, the uncertainty, or you're making some decisions about where there may have been some betrayal. And this is centering on your partnerships uh, and agreement with this Queen of Cups and where you're doing a review, a review of an opportunity. Maybe you're reviewing your finances. Maybe you're reviewing travel. Maybe you want to take a vacation or there health issues. You're doing some kind of review where something is on the table and there's a momentary pause for you to consider it whether you want to move forward with it or not. It could simply be you want to prove a point, especially if people have been talking behind your back or uh, somebody's been, um, you know, holding on to money or cheating you. They didn't come through with what they said. You may get the, uh, the opening to prove yourself somehow, to validate, uh, you know, how you have been... Uh, acting, or you may have the opportunity to prove that whatever you've been accused of is not necessarily true. This is also about some kind of exchanges, some transaction, or some kind of development of ideas, and this could be some lasting gains or losses. This is going to be a challenging month for you where there's some change in the plans, now, again, this may be about an attraction, could be a couple, possibly somebody that's, you know, a couple that's well-established, either you or maybe your parents. Uh, it's also about delegation of responsibilities. And maybe somebody is revolting or they're challenging something. Maybe there's an affair or a romance. This is about proving worthiness. Somebody may be on a mission to prove something. And it, it ties to your social status, your success, your career, your standing in the world, how you're seen by others, as well as broadening your horizons, which may mean, again, taking some trip or opening yourself up to new possibilities, changing your perspective in some way. So the challenge here is, you know, your ambitions, uh, some kind of change in plan. Keep in mind that this could be the end of struggling for success. All right, Leo, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Make some positive changes in your relationship and create a love revolution.